Hey guys, um, my gosh, the other day it was like 80 and today the wind is so cold that I thought my ears were going to freeze off. I was walking and I had to actually pull my hood up. I, I walked outside because it's kind of sunny and hasn't been cold and I, it's not cold out, it's just the wind is freezing. Like the wind is freezing. Oh my gosh, this weather's cuckoo crazy and we need rain desperately. So I wanted to just talk a little bit about this, this hysterical notion um, that anybody on the political stage or connected to politics in any way, shape or form is trying to expose the shadow government. This is fucking hysterical, okay? There is no shadow government. The whole government is a cesspool of filth, the entire thing. There are no good guys in government, okay? Like, I, I just don't know why so many people fail to see this. Now, does that mean that a local person that you know who runs for an office and happens to get in, that is so low level that they have absolutely no control over anything, okay? But we are talking about the fundamental government structure, okay? And the people that control the government, they're not good people, okay? They're, they're overtaken by these parasitic forces. Now, the main controllers, the actual puppet masters, there's only a few people who actually know who they really are. Everybody is just taking orders from whoever is in command over them. And it, it just cracks me up that people actually think this. And I just posted on my community page about this very thing, is that, you know, Trump has been exposing the deep state, the shadow government for how long? And what's, what's come of it? Absolutely nothing. As a matter of fact, it's only gotten progressively worse, progressively worse. But what did get done? What did get done since Trump's been on the stage? Oh, Operation Warp Speed. Oh, look where we are now. So, you know, it's downright laughable to think that any political figure is going to do anything. Because if they tried to, they would be taken out like a fucking light switch. Turn that light switch off, okay? And they've done this. They've done this. Seriously. Look at, like, if you actually do some research on Hill and, uh, Hillary and Bill and look at their bodyguards and look at how many of their bodyguards are dead, I think it's all of them. If you are a bodyguard for them, you don't make it. You, you don't live. Once your service to them is over, you're done. Maybe there's a few that have lived, which means they were part of the, the pit to begin with. Um, but yeah, if you're like a military person or like a Navy SEAL or like whatever, and you go for the job of protecting these people, you, you, don't, you don't make it. You don't survive it. You don't survive it. Okay, so fuck that, all right? Stop believing in fairy tales because they're nothing more than fairy tales. It's like believing in Santa Claus. That's what I've been saying forever. Nobody is coming to save us. Nobody. Nobody from this planet. Nobody from off this planet. Nobody is coming to save us, okay? It's an inside job. You think Source would have set that plan up, okay? Source has worked through the human biology, okay, through the human being. The light beings, which is what we all are, if you are in an avatar, you are a light being and yet, unless you've been possessed, okay? Unless you're either a cyborg already or you're just, you just have the physical, the physical shell, but you are inhabited by a non-light being, okay? Now, light beings are inhabited into this avatar and we came into a two-stranded DNA form, okay? Which is very minimal. It's very, very minimal, okay? But some people have been experiencing more of their DNA expression, which means more of their light. And it's not limited to DNA, I don't mean to say that, but the DNA is a big part of it because DNA are like antennas and receivers, okay? And our DNA has been rapidly expanding for years now, for many, many, many years, okay? And they've been hunting, uh, hunting it publicly, not hunting it, they've been hunting it a long time. They've been hunting it publicly since the 90s with the beginning of the genome project, which was above surface, meaning public. Because again, they've been doing this for a long time. It's just this is, now they're making it public. Okay. 
And if you look who's behind it, you can connect the dots and make sense of it. Okay. And then, of course, we had all the ancestry DNA, people going in to see where their ancestors are from. Who the fuck cares where your ancestors are from? This is just a fucking avatar. Who the fuck cares? This is my, this is my point. People are nuts. Nobody cares where your ancestors are from. Is no bearing on your light being. It might have bearing on your physical body, your physical avatar, but it has no bearing on your light being. Your light being is free from this matrix shit. It's not attached to any of that stuff. So people, wake the fuck up. Seriously, wake the fuck up. So all these people that go to see where their ancestors are from, yeah. This is giving them all the information they need to know how many people's DNA are starting to actually kick in, kick on. Okay? People have willingly complied with all of this, and it's fucking maddening. Like, it's maddening. But anyway, we are where we are, and it's probably inevitable anyway. You're going to find out. So... You could see at that time in the 90s, they started in the 80s pushing, really pushing hard. And I've done a Connect the Dots video, but in the 90s, you can clearly, clearly see that, that they just were turning up that, that hot water. They were turning up the heat, okay? Really, really fast, exponentially. And when you look at CERN and what CERN's been doing, they're turning up the heat, okay? And what have they been doing since uh, 2018? turning up the heat okay operation warp speed turning up the heat okay and seriously people this is what is going on now our dna that is upgrading organically which means because of all of the things going on on the planet that are organic from source okay are trying to be overtaken and stopped and thwarted by all of the synthetic and the artificial Okay, because I've had people say, well, how do you know this, this four-stranded DNA isn't something that they've done to us? Because if that were true, there would be absolutely no need for CRISPR technology. You understand what CRISPR technology is, right? It's called gene editing. What do they want to edit? What do they want to take out of us? What do they want to take out of us? I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to be a bitch. What the fuck do they want to take out of us? and replace okay all you need to know they want to remove this dna why what are clones what are what are what's all this shit that they're up to with all this dna stuff where do they get it from why do they want our dna especially this upgrading dna why do they want it what do they want to do with it this is what i'm saying People's brains don't work and people need to snap the fuck out of it. You need to tap into your light being so that your light being starts to guide you and starts to open your eyes, open your ears, open your heart, open up all of the clogged vessels, open up all of the clogged drains in you, open them up, blast them open. And yeah, it's going to make you sick. When you blast through those pipes and you let loose all that shit, you feel like crap because you feel like you want to vomit. You start to see things for what they really, really are, and it's so fucking disturbing. But then you realize that you are a being of light. You are a being of light. And let me tell you, there's no better news than that. There is no better news than that. So people need to start waking the fuck up. And there's going to be people that won't. And I've said this multiple times. There's going to be people that won't. They either refuse or they're just already overtaken. So there it is. There it is. No one, no one is exposing the shadow government. This goes all the way back to royal elite families. Kings. Kings. Okay? And the marriage, it's not even a marriage. Remember I told you? They're just, they're fucking every day. Government and religion. Okay? So nobody is exposing shit. Okay, this matrix is being dissolved. It's being dissolved back to source. And it's probably going to be ugly along that process because I kind of look at it as like, you know, you're kind of eating away, burning away, and it can kind of make a mess. So it's going to be a mess. It's probably going to take a lot of people with it. And who knows? Maybe I'm going to be leaving too. I don't know. And honestly, I don't really care. 
because this place sucks. And I can tell you, if if I knew that the world was going to stay like this, like forever and ever and ever, I'm just really not so sure I would have stayed here, to be perfectly honest. I've had a few moments where I think I could have tapped out easily. I'm not saying that I'm suicidal because I'm not. I, like, I, that's not what I'm talking about. But I have been so sick, so fucking sick. Um, especially with the COPD. I've, I've talked about where I actually had an experience where I wasn't breathing and I left my body, left completely left my body. And I do believe that I did tap out, but I knew that it wasn't my time to go. I knew it wasn't my time to go. And I came back into my body. But I wasn't fucking breathing at all. There was no air coming into my body. But here I am. And I believe it's my light being. It is my light being that has kept me here. So, I didn't come to see this matrix continue. And if for some reason the tables turn and they end up winning, which I, yeah, I, I won't be staying because I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna stand up. And if that gets me you know, taken out, it gets me taken out. Like other people, everybody should be standing up right now, everybody. Everybody should be standing up and not complying with any of this shit. This is just the lull. This is just the calm before the storm, people. And everybody's gone back to sleep. Oh, forgot about Operation Warp Speed. Forgot about people losing their jobs, losing their homes. All the people that got this and are still getting more because they're still rolling them out, right? They're still rolling them out. Yeah. Okay, nobody's coming to save us. People are either going to save themselves or they're not. Make sure you know what lane you're in. All right, because it's go time and things are things are getting real, real. Really real, real, real. Okay. Yeah, we haven't seen anything yet. So remember who you are. Signing out.